Hello Vinyl community, subscribers and especially Mark, Dr. Deadwax. Um, I don't know <clears throat> if you all know but, but me and Mark did a trade. <clears throat> I had a... <coughs> oh. I had a, a U2 record that uh, I, I was thinking of selling or trading and, and Mark uh, wanted it so, so I sent it to, to him along with a surprise record uh, and it was Rune Gustafsson and um, a jazz record, Rune Gustafsson and so it seems I think it was uh, that he really enjoyed <clears throat> so that was just great and and I sent him a list of stuff that I was looking for uh, so but, but especially one one um, artist and that's Billy Preston uh, when he when he was with uh, with Apple Records um, so, so he said, "Give me a week or two, and I'll I'll see what I can do." And he he actually got it uh, one of one of the records, and he did a private video and showed it to me uh, if I you know if I wanted it with that in that condition and stuff like that. Uh, and hell yeah, I wanted it, so he sent it. And it's been uh, this has to be like three months ago, something like that, four months ago maybe. Uh, he sent me the package uh, along with some surprise. Uh, records um, and it got back to him like a month a month uh, later or something like that so uh, so he sent it again uh, and as I said it's been like three months or something like that since he first sent it uh, and actually I didn't think he would make it because it's been so so long and that would be really really that that had that would be really really uh, a shame especially for Mark, you know, uh, getting the record and the postage and everything, so... Uh, but, yesterday, I got a note uh, that I could go down to the post office and, and get uh, me some records from a uh, Mark. Uh, so I knew that was the Billy Preston record. <clears throat> so I went there today and I got it. And the package is too huge to be one record. And as you can see, I've opened it and I've looked. Uh, I went there with a friend of mine, uh, also a record collector. Um, actually, it was his Rune Gustafsson record that I sent to Mark because he didn't want it. Um, uh, we listened to it and it wasn't our cup of tea. So, so I asked him if I could send that as a surprise record to Mark. So, uh, so yeah, we have to thank him too. Uh, so, you know, I was just thrilled. But when I opened it, man. As I said, I've been looking for this record, the Billy Preston record, for so long. I don't mind. I don't think Mark minds uh, the, the note here. Uh, everyone had a, a note, very, very nice, uh, nice notes. Um, I, I'm looking for this. I'm still looking for the other one, uh, the one that came after this. I think uh, with Billy Preston on Apple. Uh, this is the. That's the way God planned it. Uh, in perfect condition, you know, the, the, there's a punch hole here, but other than that, it's just in magnificent condition, a Canadian press, and and Mark, <coughs> uh, it's in a Blake sleeve as well, uh, so this is my second Blake sleeve, uh, I only have Derek's record in a, in a Blake sleeve before, so so that's really, really nice too, and, and Mark, um, he, he sent his inner sleeves, if you've if you've seen Dr. Deadwax uh, videos, you know about his his inner sleeves that he he uses for every record that, that he has. I think at least every record that he has. So it was just so cool to see them, you know, in real life. This is just it's gonna be awesome playing this. Thank you so so much, Mark. Really, really, I'm so happy. I'm gonna give you a review of this when I've played it in a recent vinyl find. So there's a bunch of good artists on it. So, I looked again, uh, and the next record that was in here, you know, it's been a while since I sent him the list of records that I was looking for, and and uh, I'm sad to say, but I'm also really, really happy uh, that I've got this uh, like two months ago or something like that. I think when I visited Stockholm, I got this um for like 10 or, or 12 bucks something like that but not in this condition i don't think in this press um 
uh, this is in just splendid, splendid condition. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna <coughs> see, uh, uh, compare it to my my copy, and uh, I'm I, I think this is gonna be better than my copy. If it is, I'm gonna try to sell my own copy and and uh, save marks. It's so cool to just to you know I've gotten a record from a VC member. So just as a, a memory, I'm gonna try to keep it. Uh, but there's two more. <clears throat> I also said to him that I was looking for Led Zeppelin 2, a good copy of Led Zeppelin 2. And you know, like Panix uh, 1960, uh, Rob from Boston uh, listens to a lot of, of Led Zeppelin. He's a guru in, in uh, Led Zeppelin knowledge. Uh, I showed a copy that I had. It plays, but it doesn't play good. So I've been looking for, for a good copy. I have Led Zeppelin 1, 3 and 4 in pretty good conditions. But I was looking for Led Zeppelin 2. So Mark, he sent me Led Zeppelin 2 as well. I haven't checked the the checked out the uh, which press this is, but it looks like an early one. Uh, I haven't even opened it yet. But he's he uh, writes here on the note. Uh, you said you wanted a perfect copy of this. This is pretty damn close. So I'm super, super excited for this one. And uh, as I said with the GP, uh, Graham Parson uh, record, uh, I'm gonna take mine and try to, to sell it, uh, even if it, it's a little bit uh, played, you know. Because there's a lot of people looking for that album in, in Sweden, so I think I'll, I'll get probably like 10 bucks for it, or something like that at least. So, so super glad, thank you so much, Mark. And the last record, just as the note says, Jonas, a little surprise for you. Some brilliant Canadian prog that will rock your ass. Cheers, Mark. And I think I, I took took it out, and I, I can't I can't put them in the Blake sleeves. You know, I don't have the skill yet. Um, I took took it out and, and looked at it. FM Black Noise. I think I don't even know if if the band is named. FM or if it black it's black noise, but I know I've seen this. Someone showed this in the VC, and I was interested in it when I saw it, but I never heard it, uh, and I ne I've never seen it uh, at record shows and stuff like that. Uh, so I'm super excited for this Canadian prog. You know, um, I'm a I'm a prog collector, and uh, this is just awesome to have as a memory piece of of the trade with Mark as well. Uh, I'm gonna keep them in the Blake sleeves, uh, even if I'm not having. I, I don't have the Blake sleeves in my collection, but this is gonna be the records that <clears throat> that that is. My, it's you're gonna see in record shelves uh, that that these are in Blake sleeves, uh, and you know if I get more from from VC members in Blake sleeves, it's gonna be great to have the VC records in Blake sleeves. Um, yeah, so, so but I haven't listened to any one of them. Uh, when I do, I put them in the recent vinyl finds bin and I'll show them, you know, in my next video or the next videos when I've listened to them. Uh, the first one I'm gonna play right now is uh, That's the Way God Planned It. So, thank you so much, Mark. It's been a pleasure trading with you and I hope we can do it more um, if I find anything that you want to trade. Uh, and I hope to see you soon in a video. I've been missing your videos, man, so so much. Uh, I hope you, you know, you get back soon. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I'm signing off now. Have a great day.